start of the recording. Welcome back to story time. A little bit of a different beginning here for us. We're trying to make things as real and as intimate as possible so that you go. It's kind of <laughs> keeping it real with the music that we listen to. That was Cowgirl by a band called Pucker Up, which is the dopest band coming out at the moment. So check them out and we'll have them on the show at the end of the week, which will come out whenever near somewhere near this. <laughs> uh, but, dude, good to have you back on the show. We're Thank you. Be back. Yeah, it has been, it's been a hot minute since we've seen each other. It has. I also, I've been hearing that term a lot lately because like when you see people when you go to the shops or something or if you yeah. plan to check a mate and you go and say how's it to them. I've heard people say it's been a hot minute. I don't really know what it means though. I don't really know. I think, yeah. It's just like, trying to be like why can't the minute be cold? Also, it's been longer than a minute. It's been six months. <laughs> it's been six months. <laughs> it's been it's definitely not a minute. a couple of minutes added up yeah. over time. I want to know why we have to give time a temperature. <laughs> also, we should just leave it. Temperature... It's been a lukewarm minute. No, yeah, exactly. There we go. Also, a hot minute, surely, like, time... Well, energy or temperature is just energy. So, surely hotter means there's more energy, means it's moving quickly. But that's... But maybe that's what it means. Like, you rarely missed each other for that minute. So, the energy was tense. It was hot. So it was hot. It was a compliment on how good looking the person is that you missed. You know I mean? Maybe they got more good looking within a minute. Yeah. Like I guarantee if I saw my ex-girlfriend, I'd, that's, a, that's a, a, a warm minute at max. Yeah. You were like, this is like a lukewarm yeah. kind of minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not to say that, that she's not attractive. It's just, I probably wouldn't be that excited. Yeah. You just wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be excited anymore. You know, yeah. like when you first switch a shower on, no matter where the handle is of hotness, you switch it on and it's cold at first. <laughs> That's what it would feel like. No matter how attractive she is, it would be cold. outside, shivering naked, yeah. waiting for the warm up and you just waiting. test the temperature every time. Yeah, yeah you're just waiting yeah. there, like naked in the bathroom. <laughs> but I was going with my phone and then I played like the song that I want, but I know I'm not going to hear it when I'm in the shower because the water's like, like quite loud. So I'll play my favorite song and I'll wait till it gets to my favorite part and then I'll <laughs> intro into the show. <laughs> every time, every time. It has to be, and I'll play music while I use the toilet, just music in the bathroom well, in general is just the way to go. That's, yeah, that was something that take me badly as well, because, um, yeah, my girlfriend also has like an apartment and stuff, and the toilet is, or the bathroom is reasonably close to the bedroom, Yeah. so you can kind of hear what's going on. So whenever it's time, I always just, I just turn it, it's got like the nice little, you know, this is going to be a name drop, that JBL, like flip five oh, yeah. what is it that little like yeah, whole thing? Thing. Yeah, yeah it's so lekker so what i'm doing there is just kind of like whenever it's whenever it's time um no i just turn that cousin on you know. just blare it so it's yeah. all good i feel like we had this discussion before yes we i went my way and you did yours for six months of meeting overseas and you being here and mm. oh chop shed his head by the way in case you guys couldn't pick it up choppy has no hair anymore yeah well, i feel like the hair transfer from the top of your head to the bottom of your face Absolutely. But it looks beautiful. And so it's shot. Yeah. I, mean, I feel I, like we don't use that word enough as men. Beautiful. Like at each other. Yeah. No, fair enough, because you have to have this like rigid You know what I'm saying? Rigid manliness about you. Yeah, I, I have to be like, oh it looks good, dude. No, that looks beautiful. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? I think it's been it was a change for me the first time I did it. I mean I, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I absolutely love short hair and just the le the less admin that comes with it. The better. It's so nice. But also the thing that I did not expect was because I had had hair for so long, for like seven years I'd had that long hair. Yeah. Um, what I didn't realize is how effective your hair is as being, at like being a beanie, for example. Like keeping your head warm, keeping hey, warm, warm but also warm. one central temperature. It doesn't vary as much. And what I found out was when we shaved my pup, because um, I had, it was like a zero around the sides and then 
a one and a half on the top. So like very, very short. But, and I don't know if this is just yes, me. It's short. So it's basically skin on the back of my head. Yeah. And I don't know if this is just me or if I was like, I don't know, someone spiked my drink or something. But okay. we're, at, we're at a party and I just shared my, my, my pup that day. Yeah. And drawing and stuff. And obviously I feel like there's a lot of blood, a lot of like, like veins run behind, like on the back of your head. You know what I mean? Like it's a sensitive area. Yeah. And what I didn't realize was I'd be, we'd be, cause it was outside, it was evening, but it was still like summer in Cape Town. So it was quite nice. So I would be like raving and drawing and the heat that was generated between my shoulder blades and underneath my t-shirt it would radiate up and touch the back of my head and it would be like really, really hot. I could feel the temperature rising to the back of my head, but then what happened is a slight like breeze. Chunny. Yeah. For the back of your head. Dude, literally, it was like, it was just this little, the heat generator, dude. It was so hot. And then it would like, obviously heat rises. So it would like rise up and touch the back of my head and I'll be yeah. like, oof, this is, you know, this is hot. I could feel the heat coming off my back because yeah. I'm drawing. Yeah. And you know, creating. And, um, but then a, a slight breeze would come past and it would interrupt that uh, climb. It's like a, like a crosswind. Climb. Exactly. And then, but then because it like came past and sort of like was that slight breeze and moved the heat away, yeah. then the back of my head would be cold all of a sudden. And the temperature would jump between like cooking and cold. Like a red line. And like available. seven, eight times every 10 seconds. I felt like I was. Yo, I genuinely felt like someone was buying drinks up because I was trapped I feel like this explains the mullet. Yo. See, now. I feel like that's the vibe for this. I think there was a guy that shaved his head, went to a jaw, and was like, the back of my head is getting cold and hot and cold and hot and cold and hot. <laughs> he wanted that beanie, one temperature sort of vibe for that section of his pup. But he also wanted the convenience of a shaved head. Exactly. So he was like, wait a second. <laughs> if there's hair there, <laughs> then the temperature can't vary. Really? But I still have the convenience of a shaved head. Yeah. How really, that's breakthrough technology. I think that's, that's what the, I think that's where the mother came from. Oh, from just like convenience, but still keeping it trendy for when you jaw. <laughs> we should order mullets. <laughs> so smart. Would you shave a mullet into your head? I mean, I probably would. I don't know if I would like. Yeah, I'm actually oh, looking back now because I really want to start doing some fun stuff. Like, I mean, I, when my hair started growing out a bit, like, we were, I was bored and um, I was cutting wood at my mates. Um, like, he has a horse riding centre or mm -hmm. a horse farm kind of thing. We were chopping trees down. He dyed his beard blonde and I dyed my hair blonde. Who was this that dyed their beard blonde? A guy called Simon and he works in the yachts kind of thing. Uh, so he yeah, had like this yeah. massive beard and he was like a little bit on the fence about dyeing his beard blonde because he's got brown hair and obviously dark beard. Yeah. And I was like trying to, if you do your beard, I'll do, I'll do my, yeah, my I'll do the top of my pup. So he was like, Becca. So we did it, dyed it and it looked pretty funky. So there's that side to it, obviously I was having fun. Yeah. Um, and then as it was growing out, it started looking more like frosted tips than anything else. Nice. And a little guy, guy, guy Ferreira, you said. <laughs> exactly, Guy yeah. Ferreira. The only yeah. in the world who should look like Guy Ferreira is Guy Ferreira. It's only him. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so trim that. But I've also been like wanting to experiment with like um, a mustache or like the handlebars, oh. which has been fun. Dude. Which has been real fun. I think you should do the handlebar. Because this is the thing, like, Choppy and I spoke about this and Choppy shaved his head and like, you know, in modeling industry and stuff, you couldn't always like vary your hair, like from one point to another, like you couldn't make any drastic change because your book looked one way, you know, and long hair is usually the best option because you can't grow your hair in a day, but you can cut it in a day. Yeah. You know? So you always have that chance for like a bigger gig or whatever. Indeed. In acting, it's pretty much like, I can't change my look right now. My agent's gonna be like, what are you doing? Why do you no longer have hair? Like, you know, go do this by yourself. Thanks for trying. What I so, found was that most, like, most people don't know this, but like your agency own your look, like they own your face. Yes. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> Dude, we, we <laughs> had, has to we, go were, we, we were filming, I'm not gonna say what we were filming and who it was that did it, but we were filming, we got halfway through filming, he went and got a haircut. Halfway through filming the movie, halfway through, he's like, <laughs> And it was literally, he decided this because he saw himself on camera and was like, I don't look good. <laughs> like he didn't rate himself enough. So he just went and got his pup cut and came back and was like, now I look sleek. 
And producer walked in the room and was like, what have you done? Like, that is sabotage of the highest dude, order. That's really bad. And he was like, what? What have I done? That's something all like, dude, continuity, every <laughs> excuse on the planet. Like, your only job was to look like you. And you fucked that up. Like, that was, that was, that was all you had to do. So, <laughs> just don't come to here in this industry kind of thing. But, so, the point I was going to make was that you've made the drastic change which works for you and it's worked for you like career wise as well yeah in like yeah. booking gigs and stuff but you can grow facial hair that does make a huge difference it makes a massive difference yeah. if I shave my head and look like a boiled egg <laughs> straight that's all I have going for me <laughs> is hair and hair covers my ears and half the shape of my head because I've got a weird shaped head like this hat barely fits me I have to wear like the second and third little knot thing because yeah, it's like just it hanging on with your life. yeah so that is true. I did. That was a gamble, though. I mean, before I shaved it, um, my my booker kind of maybe like tied my hair back super super, super tight, tight, and then took a photo and then went on Photoshop just to try and like take my hair away to see what it would look like. That's a lot of effort. It was a bit. You know, Shout like, out to your agent. Like, yeah, it was him doing it. You know what I mean? Which was cool. Yeah, and I appreciated it. Um, but yeah, then one day I was just, we just went for it. Like, I was just like, you know, it's it's time. I wish I was there. You know. Damn. Yeah, I was guess. I'd like, and also the thing that made it better was that I obviously had facial hair as well. Yeah. Um, so you can kind of still have and get rid of the rest. Of the yeah. But I think I mean the beard's always getting a little bit out of control now. Um, just in terms of like frizziness, or you know, just general like unneat. Unneatness. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I think I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. So I'm gonna but clear it up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Oh, um, like the LG. And then into the handlebars, and then into my mustache, and just play around, you know, on your, like build, on your way down, you know, just work your way down. until it's just a little bit of a muzzy. Indeed, and, and I then, think I keep the muzzy, dude, because I was really looking forward to. I saw a guy, like I mean, a whole lot of people release like all Aussie oaks, and then yeah, one of the channels I saw through Instagram, like one of the oaks I knew, like he had a mate who he posted a photo with, and he had like sh- like shaved head on the side like zero almost and then probably like like reasonable on the other top like yeah. the line yeah and then a muzzy but like a thick muzzy that's like, pretty so dope right? looked epic right? and I, was I like, feel like i feel like the mustache is the fedora of your face <laughs> if you can pull off a fedora there's something special you've yeah. got the perfect shaped head the perfect look perfect features then you can rock that little Fedora off to the side type vibe, you know? Like that kid from Cuba that doesn't, who wears it backwards, you know that like like the fat little kid? He was the brother that was at the baseball bat that wore the fedora backwards and he pulled it off. <laughs> I, I feel like the mustache. Yeah, you yeah. the movie? I feel like the moustache is super specific. Yeah. To an like to an individual. Because you either look like a pedophile or you look like someone that's like edgy and hipster and you You've pulled it off. Yeah, I think it also depends on. I mean, to be generous, like if you had a mustache, no offense, but I don't know if you pull it off just so you're too big. You're too chubby. And look good. I don't know if I was trying too hard. Yeah, like I think, it, well, I wouldn't say trying too hard, but it's just, I don't know if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit your shape. But like, I've just been seeing in like Cape Town specifically, like people who can pull off mustaches are like really, really skinny, <laughs> like mangy looking yeah. pe- human beings yeah. who are really skinny, like they're almost like bordering on eating disorder skinny. Yeah. And then they have that beanie like rolled up a little bit and then... I've seen guys do that, you know, they're just just sits yeah. above the ears. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then, and then like cool like little tattoos, but like none of them make sense. Yeah. And none of them are drawing, but they're all there. You know, none of like, them make like enough of a statement to be like, oh, he's got a tattoo. Yeah, it's all like little squiggly lines. Yeah, like, so it's like, like they committed, but they didn't really. Like a child went and drew like that doodling, kind of doodling in like grade four. Yeah. You know what I mean? You or like stuff. If, if you just drew something and then spun the person around and then stop, like like on the globe, yeah. and they just made a mark, spun, stop, and then just made, that's what they did with tattoos. They were exactly. just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty 100%. So like those, yeah. I've seen that, right? like it actually looks pretty cool. Mm. Um, so that works, you know what I mean? So like, in that sense, yeah, I, I, I cannot see a big jump butt putting on Having a stash, yeah. You know? Dude, this is something that I've seriously considered. Have you ever like looked at who you are and like where you are in life and what you find interesting and intriguing and like entertaining or what your interests are, your hobbies are and just been like, what if I woke up tomorrow and changed everything? 
Like, what if I woke up tomorrow and I preferred this to this, or I suddenly drank tea and not coffee, or I suddenly like uh, shaved my head and has like had a moustache, or I stopped wearing black, or I, you know, anything. Like, I started wearing those like Jerusalem cruisers and, and <laughs> never wore sneakers. Like, Jesus sandals. Jesus sandals. Like those like, Moses part of the sea vibes. Like, what if I just wore those? Stopped wearing jeans, wore shorts, and just completely changed my whole dynamic. Like, what if I went for that? Like, what would be your go-to? Like, who would you then be? I would be the guy that was covered in tats, but like, you know, you look at some people that are covered in tattoos, you're like, wow, he's covered in tattoos. You look at other people and you're like, that guy's got some tats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see you before I see the tattoos, not the other way around. I feel like if I just see tattoos and then pay attention to your face, that's quite a lot. <laughs> but if I see you, I'm like, damn, you, you got some good ink. You know, I'm like, yeah. that's pretty sick. I want to be one of those types of people. Oh, so a lot, but not too much. Exactly. Okay. Like, hands and fingers done, but you can. it still looks like pretty decent. I'd be that kind of guy. I'd be the guy that can tuck in his t-shirt and still look cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can tuck your t-shirt into your jeans and still look badass. And I'd be the guy that could wear a short sleeve shirt open. And it doesn't look arrogant and like you're trying too hard. You know you get those guys that wear the open yeah, shirts. And they kill it. And you're like, damn, that looks so good. good. Yeah. Yeah. So good like, I, I think I'd try to be that guy. Is this the way that, so are we are we like is this a game we play? Are we like building an avatar for life? Oh yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, be, you know, I did the poppy thing, by the way. I can hear it from my second bit. I'll let you uh, um, come and call you this soon. Say. Perfect. Um, I know, just, because I, I, the original direction I thought you'd take this conversation is, is like, what would happen if you... Are you I'm just going to do it. My Yahoo! I don't know how you do the pop thing. Did I? Did you, did I, you go a half time of drinking I'll grow up later. I'll grow up. I'll grow up. Um, but the original direction I thought you were taking this conversation and would be like, what happened if you just woke up completely opposite the next day? Ooh, which, like is, that. which is like a freaky Friday. Yeah, exactly. Which is to to be honest, that would obviously be a huge shift in the human psyche. Like that, like immediate yes. like shaker, you know. But like, I was actually having this conversation um, with my girlfriend the other day, and it was like last week because uh, her brother is the nicest, sweetest. Oh, uh, no, you just got tattoos. No. Sleeve. Andrea's brother. Yeah. He does have tattoos. He does. He does. Jess? Andrea's brother does have tattoos, right? Does he? No, he doesn't. He's thinking of Katie's brother. Thinking of him. Oh, oh. He's, yeah, he's her ex boyfriend. Oh! Yeah, yeah no, no. Oh, yeah, no, so, so her ex boyfriend has tats. He's not thinking of her ex boyfriend, not her brother. <laughs> <laughs> His whole family tree. <laughs> Oh no, no! It's understandable I'm though because they are. Apologize. They are that tight. Um, yeah. No, no, no. He's got a sleeve today, and it's like it's sick tattoos. Like I'm not a big tattoo, tattoo guy, but his sleeve is yeah. like, fucking sick, like snakes. Yeah, he's, he's got, got like, the whole animal vibe. Yeah, and he's got like one that's half half a doll and half. I think it's a wolf. That's like, sick. Like a fetish. That's it's, like, sick. Half half. It's like fucking. That's cool. fire. So he's actually got some sick tattoos. Yeah. And he's inspired her to get dope tattoos as well. Oh, sick. Um, so like. You know, so it's like I, I don't think I'm a guy who can pull it off. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I was doing. But her brother doesn't have tattoos, but he's like the sweetest, just kindest, nicest human being in yeah. the whole world. Like, and he's just so genuine. Like, you, you have a chat with him, and you're just like, he, they 100. You know what I mean? Like, he's nowhere else. Like, he's so in the moment, so sick. Um, and so funny because that, like, he when I was his age and like studying because he's doing BSc, I started studying BSc, but I left. BSc and stopped studying that yeah. to do decom because all the guys in the, in the BSc class were like Mickey is like her brother is like just soft, gentle, sweet human beings and I was just like 180 the other side. Yeah. I was I was I was part of decom crew. You got wrecked Monday night, yeah. Wednesday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Put chat and just hope you pass. Yeah. yeah, and just go and then go to your your dean and just pray for like yeah there we go four pass mark you know yeah. what I mean? um, but it's so funny how like. Uh, like over the past couple of years, like I've developed to be more like Mickey is. You know what I mean? So, so now, like, I get along with him 100%, and I'm just like, you know, me a couple of years ago, like, why was I such a short sighted dickhead? Yeah, like, I was <laughs> such a tall yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it took that time to like slowly change into it because I reckon yeah. I'd woken up, well, I was seeing it, dude, and I was studying and I was seeing people like that. And I, then I was like, shit, if I woke up like this, like tomorrow, I'll 
you know, I'd be like, who am I? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at that point, I'd be like, fuck, I would hate that. You know? Yeah. But he's like, no, like, I can appreciate it. Like, Damn, you'd be like that. So it's so weird, dude. But I mean, like. Yeah. So that would be your, like, avatar? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm going more like skin. That sounds weird. I'm, I'm, I'm going more like. You know, when you build your avatar skin, they call it a skin. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. One PlayStation game, you build, like, the hat and the face and the hair and the, and the whole look vibe. Like, you're building a sim. That's great, chat. I think my. Yeah. I'd be that guy, I'd be the guy that tucked in shirt. Maybe, maybe, or I'd be the guy that can wear those low vans and the high socks that have, like have a picture on them. It's usually Ooh, like a frame well, yeah. with like the really high roll jeans. Yeah. Maybe that look, never been able to pull it off, my legs are too long. Well, there's a guy, to be dead honestly, like, I mean, if, I'm, if we're talking who, like, what sim we would be and how we would work it, there's a guy who I know, his name's Carl Barry. Carl Barry. Carl yeah. Barry, I've like, I mean, oh, like, I've got a girlfriend, but like, I have the biggest man crush on this oak. Oh, so wait, is this like a famous dude? No, 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 he's a China. He's like, wait, I'm not him. Um, he's such a legend, number one. He's such a bugger. Yeah. But I just have the biggest man crush on him because I think he is honestly got the most handsome man to oh, walk with. Is it called De Very? No, no, no. It's, I think it's C Y L E. C. Oh, he's very. Kyle with a C? Yeah, that's what? badass. Exactly, dude, that's even His more. His parents were like, he's just what he is. You know what I mean? He's a man, he actually rocks fedoras, dude. No. He, he rocks fedoras. Oh, wait, that found him. Kyle, yeah. Kyle Barry. V and he's got a double R I E. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's exactly. found him. And he, and he can grow the most incredible mustache, number one. I mean, his bio is Cape Town with a pen, just yeah. so you know where he's at. Yeah. Rocking. Environmental enthusiast. He is. Everyone's wet already. He's a beast. I'm not even gonna try to read what that one is. <laughs> Rat tight. Probably owns a company. No, he does. And then he's got Equestrian Leather Solutions. Yeah. Leathers and Equestrian. He's got two companies. Yeah. So what a badass. No, he's unreal. So what he's done is like, yeah, he's had a company. So Leather Equestrian Vibe. He's had a company for a while now, and then he's just joined his buddy's company, which does like plastic recycling and clean up the environment, basically. Yeah. He's such a beast. He's tall. He's like a tall Zac Efron. That's like badass. a rare mustache. And he's just got the most incredible, like, he's got, he's got that old school, like that, that classic, what era are we going here, like, 1950s? Yeah. Gentleman, or, oh. like, just dripping like where, swagger, those, um, those, um, those suspenders, those suspenders, suspenders, those suspenders like, where's the most pocket suits, square, but no blazer, pop, like, the, with the, the watch. Oh, like that, that, like watch on the chain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like one of those, those time pieces, and just like just that his is. conversation, his voice is soothing. The way he speaks, his like so his like uh, vocabulary, it, like he Sick. just he just absolutely just drips in it. Just so yeah, I think to be honest, like this is obviously cheating because if you create your own avatar, you have to I mean, create a new thing. Yeah, but I would one hundred percent just copy paste. Like I would play it around the shit copy him, him and then be him in the avatar. That's a good question. I've got so many questions in my head now, like what would you do to be? Oh if you had to. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh boy. If you if you had to like I don't ask the question without like it sounding quite hectic. <laughs> I want to say like what would you do to be this person? Like, oh, if, like, like, like if I said to you, um, you could have all of, uh, just because we said taller Zac Efron, you can have all of Zac Efron's talent if you had to take him out. Take him what? Take him out like kill him? Yeah, like assassinate him. Like neutralize him. Yeah. And just have all his talent, but also have So like talent. proper Rick and Morty vibe. You'd have to like get rid of him to take his place and be in his sleeve in this reality. That Rick and Morty reference is wasted on me, yeah. What, you don't watch Rick and Morty? <sighs> no. Dude, you gotta watch Rick and Morty. Jess doesn't like it either. I'm trying to People get People tell me that. People tell me to watch Rick and Morty. They also tell me to watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, I didn't watch Game of Thrones. Well, I did until Jason died. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah. And yeah. then the first season, I was like, yeah, well, why am I watching this? Mm. Um, okay, I think... that makes... But then, do you take his sleep so you become him? So you kill him to become him? Yes. Fuck well, no, but remember, like, then you have to, like, live with the burden that you killed him. So like say now it's um, uh, 
You take... I'm trying to think of someone super talented. Why can't I think of anyone? I don't know. I don't know about Justin. I mean... About like Drake. Yeah. Because that guy's... Have you seen Drake's new house? I don't know. Dude, it lights up purple at night. It's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excessive thing I've right? heard. Unnecessary. Dude, he went to the board, I don't know what the term is, so forgive me, the board of like Ontario, like the state board, oh, yeah? to say, listen, I'm Drake. I need my walls on my like perimeter to be twice the height of the normal wall like allowed. So there's obviously a height that you're allowed like. Is that height or a wall? I think so. That is I think like a wall has to be a certain height to be deemed a wall. Yeah, but I don't, he, was, I don't know if there's a height restriction on it. Like, dude, his are his high. His are like way up there. That's first one for you. Yeah. yeah. His house oh, lights oh, up oh. purple. What else did he have? He's got his, oh, he's got his own basketball court that got signed off by the NBA as like an official court. So I don't know what they're going to do with that. Like suddenly. The Raptors are playing their home games at Drake's house. <laughs> you must, I'll show you photos. Anyway, so like, well, Corona, dude. They could be off there. They could be balling at this place on our like. Actually, good point. Just throwing it down, and no one would know because it's no one would have four times or four height. Got to get a chopper to take it. Yeah. Like, this house is badass, dude. Like straight yeah. up. Like I, I watched it. I'm not one for things like big houses and stuff. Like it would be great. But like I'd want a big house just so all my mates can live in it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a waste of space. Otherwise, like, what am I doing there? But that's the thing with me. Like, I've, I thought about this the other day. I was like, I'm either gonna like th these are the two ways that I want to take it. Um, I would either be like super minimalist. Yeah. Like have literally just exactly what I need. Almost like a, t a tiny little room that you, like you need to fold your bed into the wall. Yeah. That small. Yeah. And like, just be chill. Right, bicycle. Little, yeah, 100% right. Maybe yeah. in a unicycle, because it's less metal. Even, and, you know, even less space. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, less space, more environment. environment. Yeah. Or, I'm going totally the opposite. Mansion, farm. 19 cars. Horses, yeah. And just like, all my channels can come and, you know. Yeah, so, like, like a leather equestrian company type of like. Exactly. Like oh, one so of those. Just too yeah. much, but getting back to the whole, the whole sleeve thing. Um, I wouldn't exactly. Everyone's probably a good chat. I w Drake's a good chat too. Drake's a great chat. I think the for me, I I might not go Zach Efron. Yeah. But I w would probably go Justin Bieber, late 2013-2014. What like when he was in his dip of racing Lamborghinis and buying monkeys. That sounds like a fun time. That's a fun, fun lifestyle. Dude. Yes. That's like you're yes. very you like he's hit it like he's made everything he needs to make. Now he's just chilling. That's yeah. all you know, because like you hit it and you're not like grafting to get to where you went. He's done all the hard yards. And he's just like, I'm here now. Yeah. I'm gonna race my Lambo. Exactly. Me, I dare you. You can't even catch me in this bitch. Dang. I feel like I look at all the bad, and I'm saying that in like I look at all the bad things that Justin Bieber did. Like they caught him for smoking spliff. Or I say caught him as in they, they found out that he smoked the joint. He raced his Lamborghini. What else did he do? Oh, he like beat up a paparazzi or punched him in the face. Respect for that one. And then that, they, yeah. he bought a monkey and left it behind in another country or something like that. The monkey I thing, think, he, he spat on a, apparently he spat on like a crowd. Yeah, that one's just a little bit like, eh, that, that, that's a bit wrong. That's, that's a bit weird. That's very wrong. Yeah. That's a little bit different. Just in the back. <laughs> the only time she's yeah. dropped in is the like, only time when you spit on people. She's like, that you shouldn't do. Joppy yeah. Josh, in case you were thinking of spitting on people out this window. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, don't do that. No, no. No, that. That's a bit far. But like, what he did in his own personal time, racing that beginning, playing a joint, whatever, he's the most famous person on the planet. Yeah. With one of the top bank account amounts on the planet. He smokes a joint and races a Lamborghini and everyone goes, how Lose dare you? How dare you? I'm like, that's all he did? That's amateur numbers, dude. Yeah. Imagine like you had that amount of money. Imagine you were that famous. You wouldn't just race a Lamborghini and smoke a joint. 